A stunning act of generosity for a complete stranger. A Portland police officer says it just felt like the right thing to do. Amy Frazier shows us the gift of a lifetime. Many police officers will tell you they joined the force to help others. Me, I like driving fast. <laughs> but, uh... But helping people, it's definitely a benefit. Portland police officer Elizabeth Willard responds to a little bit of everything near Lloyd Center. It's very easy to get, to get depressed and, and to get down on this job when all you see is really the worst part of most people. And yet, it seems to bring out the best in Officer Willard. Yeah, it's a big give. <laughs> it's a big give. That big give is one of her kidneys. Most people are shocked. And then they asked me if it's for someone I, I know. The answer is even more stunning. I have absolutely no clue. I will not see them, hear from them, meet them, anything. Um, they're going to be in the next operating room because the kidney will go straight from me to them. The recipient will be whoever she's a match for at the top of the two-year kidney waiting list in Oregon. People tell me that, oh, you're so brave. and all. I don't see it as that. I see it as, you know, what I'm supposed to do. If you have and others don't, and you can give, you give. As Legacy Good Samaritan Medical Center celebrates its 1,000th kidney transplant, just 16 of those were from anonymous living donors, an idea Dr. Bill Bennett says people are still getting used to. Most often, the donor is someone who died or a living relative. In the late 90s, it became obvious that you didn't have to be a relative that you could be anybody if your blood types matched and you were very healthy. In January, Officer Willard's generous gift became a reality here in the sterile operating room. It was like Christmas morning. If it sounds weird, I was so excited to give away an organ. Surgery in the OR took just a few hours, and doctors say everything went great. And when Officer Willard woke up in her room, she had a special surprise waiting for her. I had flowers and a very nice card from the recipient, which I'm sure she wrote out ahead of time, um, thanking me. It's a she. After about five weeks of recovering at home, Officer Willard says she's feeling great. I'm a little lumpy, but uh, nothing, nothing that'll keep me out of Miss America. Um, <laughs> Besides all the other things that would. At this point, she says she's not ready to know who the recipient is. If by chance things didn't go well, that would be pretty tough to take. Right now, in my mind, uh, she's still perfect. The surgery went great, and she's now, you know, becoming a marathon runner and going to cure cancer. <laughs> we don't know if that's the case, but we do have some good news. Her particular recipient is actually doing extremely well and no rejections or anything like that. After all is said and done, Officer Willard says giving her kidney to a perfect stranger feels more right than ever. I know that when, uh, when I go, I've done all that I could. Um, it's, a, you know, a sense of peace. Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News.